Before the ending of this amazing series, we would like to see some major comebacks in Season 5. All of the plot twists and cliffhangers at the end of the fourth season were good and everything, but there are some things that we, the fans, just can't live without. So in today's video, we will be uncovering the Lucifer Season 5, 10 things that need to come back. So let's jump right in, shall we people? Number 10. The Number of Episodes between Fox and Netflix, something happened with the number of episodes that Season 4 was supposed to have. Fox initially said that Lucifer was not profitable for them, and they decided to cancel the show for their fourth season. However, all of the positive reviews and even the online petition fans began signing made Netflix think that there might be something that Fox isn't seeing. So what did they do? They undercut them, took the show and renewed it for a Season 4, but it only had 10 episodes. That is way too short for the seasons we've been used to. So what gives? Is this trend going to continue in the future with season five? Well, not really. No, no it's Puff Puff Pass, not Puff Puff Stomping, really. You brought pot to a crime scene? No, I certainly did not. I found it here. You found it. You see, with all of the stuff that's supposed to be resolved in the fifth and final season of Lucifer, 10 episodes would only worsen the quality of the story. That's why Netflix has agreed to make 16 episodes. Woohoo! Thank God they decided to listen to fans and not rush anything. And there's a little surprise in the 10th episode of the upcoming season, too. Number 9. We want to see more musical numbers. We know that our favorite devil loves to play the piano. Plus, dancing and singing are not out of the picture. So, knowing how many fans have asked the directors to continue this trend, guess what? They did. They listened to their fans and wanted to make an entire episode that will be featured in the second part of the fifth season. You know that this final season is going to have a break after the first eight episodes, right? Well, to kick off the next part of the 10th episode is going to be all singing and dancing. Lucifer star teased reporters that there are multiple musical numbers planned for the episode titled Bloody Celestial Karaoke Jam, and it's going to have a 1940s noir vibe. Plus, there have already been two songs planned for this episode, so brace yourself for one funky episode. Number 8. Dromos and the Disobedient Demons we know things ended pretty badly between Lucifer and the Dromos who possessed Father Kinley's body and came to Earth to find his king. But man, would we like to see him appear in Season 5 and make a whole lot of trouble. We know that this following season, we're going to see Lucifer going back to his home country. I mean, hell country. So there's probably going to be more trouble there. We are bound to expect some serious fighting as the king reclaims his title. But who's going to be the one causing all of the trouble? We would love that to be Dromos. He had gathered up a huge army of disobedient demons who defied their king. Who knows how many more he's got stashed up back in hell. After all, he will need a lot of them if he has to pose an actual threat for the king of all evil, am I right? Not to mention, he has to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Number 7. Azrael's Blade if the upcoming season is going to be any good, there's got to be some epic fighting scenes in hell. When the devil comes to establish the order, or in this case, maintain the chaos, there's got to be someone who's going to get hurt. We know that the only thing capable of killing powerful demons, which are already dead, is Azrael's blade. It was comprised of three parts, and once Lucifer found all of them and combined them, he created a weapon so powerful that it could actually kill even the most powerful being in existence, God. And since Dromos is basically invulnerable, we would like to see them using the most powerful sword in the entire universe to actually destroy these pesky and disobedient demons that dare question Morningstar's authority. Number 6. Lucifer's Mom Epic, epic, epic! They're quite sturdy, feel it. I wasn't referring, nor will I ever refer to your butt. This is what we want the last season to be. And to make that happen, one of the things that needs to come back is the goddess. She is the co-creator of the universe and the second most powerful being in existence. We got to see her in the second season of the show, and man, did she cause a lot of trouble. She used the body of Charlotte Richards to find a son that assigned Maze to torture her for eternity back in heaven. 
When she came back, and when she threatened the people at the Santa Monica Pier, Lucifer stopped her using the flaming sword. He didn't cut her or kill her, he just opened another dimension for her, where she could create her own world and not join his father, who also banished her from heaven. Meanwhile, in order to destroy the most powerful sword in the world, he actually tossed the two parts in the alternate universe where his mother went. That way, no one could ever find the sword. But should the directors decide to make her come back, please let her bring back the two parts of the flaming sword Lucifer tossed away. Number 5. Lucifer's Father To say he has a troubled past with his dad would be the understatement of the century. Their relationship is so messed up that Lucifer actually became the embodiment of evil itself. He ruled the underworld and tortured souls to eternity. And we got to see him and his father sharing a moment in episode 16 of the second season. Well, there were a couple of moments. After they were both captured by that crazy female scientist, God apologized for all of the trouble he's caused his son, and since Lucifer kind of forgave him, we sure didn't get a proper send-off for the guy. God just disappeared. Maybe now that these guys have finally reconciled, we'll get to see them fighting demons in hell. After all, Dennis Hebert has been said to play God in the upcoming season. So, let the demon fights begin. Number 4. The Half-Angel, Half-Human Baby Charlie He is actually a modern-day demigod. He is half-angel and half-human. After Linda got pregnant by Amenadiel, nine months later, baby Charlie was born. And Dromos actually used him to make him the new king of hell. King Charles. Guess his plans didn't work out, you know, because of the whole Lucifer still being king and them serving the most evil entity in the world thing. And since the fifth season is probably going to be gloomy, dark, and hellish, we would like to see a little relief by featuring baby Charlie in some of the episodes. Maybe we'll get to see Lucifer teaching him some tricks to pick up the ladies. Oh, gosh, uh, my apologies. Or maybe some other demon is going to use the little guy to overthrow Lucifer yet again. Number 3. Eva needs to be in Season 5 We are so excited to have Inbar back, said Ildli Modrovic and Joe Henderson in one interview. So you can pretty much expect her to be there, but how will Maze take the whole reunion with her past lover? The last we saw them together was in the final episode, when Eve saved baby Charlie and then told Maze that she wants to go and find herself. Maze was absolutely devastated by this whole situation, and maybe there's going to be some plot twist along the way. Inbar was a great addition to the show, and she did help them out. Number 2. Lucifer needs to come back to Earth. Now, don't get us wrong, we like to see demon fights as much as the next guy. Well, obviously you felt the need to exercise your limited powers and punish me for ignoring the speed limit. But Lucifer staying in hell would make the entire series lose meaning. It's absolutely devastating what happened in the season 4 finale. And if he decides to stay, it will only make things worse. Maybe the writers will find a new king for hell. Maybe Charlie will receive the title after all. If Amenadiel actually agrees to such a crazy plan. But, whatever the case, they better find some other angel to take Lucifer's place. Because in the end, number 1, Chloe and Lucifer need to continue being a couple. We just can't let their relationship die in this season now, can we? Please don't go. I... I love you. Chloe was devastated in the last episode when she finally told her true feelings to Lucifer, and the only thing he could do is actually tell her that he's leaving Earth to go to hell. And it wasn't just Chloe who was destroyed by this. Lucifer was heartbroken too. After all, the invincible devil loses all of his powers in her presence. If that doesn't scream love, then we don't know what does. Anyway, the director and the writers better find a way to keep these two together. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what are some other things you'd like to see come back in Season 5 of Lucifer? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching.